Okay, so the video that Toshiba Tekra posted that wouldn't turn on, well, I finally figured it out. I was using one of these chargers that, had, that you could use the different heads with, which you can use, as long as it's compatible with all the Tekra models, unless it specifies which ones it's compatible with. Um, it was a switch. You have to press this button in right here with a pin and flick it. I was on the little green side and put it on the blue side to make it work. So now, as you can see, instead of just the battery light flashing when I hit the power button, the plug-in light's flashing, and the battery light, because it's charging. If I open it, I have turned this on. Only two times I've turned it on. It's been working. I just got it working. Just a couple minutes ago, it started working. Aha, uh -huh, we got a power light. And the hard drive will spin up. Um, it's from 1996. Apparently, from what it says on the screen, got 81 megabytes of RAM with Windows 95. It's really good. Some LEDs down here. It's got a 2 gig hard drive. The speakers work, but they're not very good quality, obviously. Wouldn't expect it. Um, now I'm, what I'm wondering is if the battery holds a charge or not. I would say probably no, but you never know. Toshiba background. It wasn't originally set on that. It was set on something that hurts my eyes. <laughs> I'll put it on that. I guess it's decent quality with the volume down a little bit more. This is the Tecro 730 CDT, as you may saw from my video. Um, but uh, yeah, it works. I'll make another video showing the software. I hadn't even hardly looked at what's on this. But uh, yeah, it works. Finally. <laughs>